It's Cecilia! If you read the title, you're probably as excited as I am because I am very, very, very proud to announce the CCR Television P.O. Box is open again! These are going to be Fan Mail Fridays and I'm going to be uploading them every other Friday starting today. So if you want your stuff in a video, you can do it now. And actually, I have some surprise packages and letters to open after I tell you guys all the rules of the stuff. You can probably skip over right now if you don't want to read the rules, but you gotta do if you want to send mail. My P.O. box has actually been open this whole time. It's just, it's been closed for YouTube. Um, my family has been using it for other stuff, but now it is back to being the CCR Television P.O. box again. So, Cecilia, what are the rules of the P.O. box opening? I want to send you mail, but I don't want it to get lost in the mail, and I don't want it to um, arrive in a, in a bad, poor condition. What do I do? Now, there are a few rules when it comes to the P.O. box. They're not that strict or anything, so just listen up. Um, because of COPA, that's the main reason why I closed the P.O. box was because of COPA. Just make sure that if you're sending mail that you're like over 13. If you are under the age of 13 and you want to send fan mail, just make sure you get like your parents' permission. Like, I mean, I don't think, I think you need that anyway because how do you send a, a letter when you're 12? But yeah, the P.O. box is formally 13 plus, but if you do want to send mail under 13, just make sure you got that permission. Next up, just please don't send any food or anything that could get sticky or messy during shipping such as like slime or glitter or anything like that like don't send food either because it could just get messy and stuff and the third rule which I am adding due to some crazy stuff that happened during the last PO box please pay proper postage so last time the PO box was open I had some issues because people use stamps to send out packages and like they or they just didn't use enough postage so it when it ended up at my PO box I would have to pay for the rest of their shipping make sure like when in doubt if you're sending a package especially or anything that's like thicker than an envelope make sure to go to the post office and get that properly sorted out other than that the PO box is pretty much a free-for-all um, so you can send fan mail you can send hate mail you can send a package you can send whatever you want um, I know that a few people have wondered like what LPS are on my wish list I'm going to be leaving my LPS wish list down below with my um, PO box address which by the way if you want to send fan mail um, make sure to address it to CCR Television, P.O. Box 2292, Irwindale, California, 91706. That is CCR Television, P.O. Box 2292, Irwindale, California, 91706. Make sure to spell it all right. I will be opening every single letter and package I receive in the P.O. Box, so if you send mail and it gets to me, then you will see it guaranteed 100% you will see it in a video. Anyway, let's get on with it. The first episode of CCR Television, P.O. Box 2.0, Illegal fan mail! Just kidding, it's not illegal, but I've got a lot of packages and fan mail that you guys secretly sent to me, even though the P.O. box has been explicitly closed. Luckily for you, after all this time, I'm actually opening this stuff up, so I'm sorry if you sent fan mail within the last year and I got it and I just never opened it. One more thing before we get started, I decided that to make things a little more fun and maybe to add some bit of like diversity to the package placement, I printed out the entire United States and I'm going to be adding little thoughts around wherever I get packages. I'm not going to be putting the exact location. Who knows, maybe we'll get fan mail from all 50 states. And after that, maybe we can try getting fan mail from the entire world. All right, so our first letter, very, very special indeed because this arrived to me in March of last year. So here's the letter. It comes from Naomi in Michigan. We've got some adorable little drawings on the back. I love this one of the little dachshund. Dear CSTO Television, hello, you are one of my favorite LPS tubers. I cannot believe I'm writing to you. I'm eight years old and I am going to make an LPS tube channel too. It might be called LPS SCE. Next up, we have some little drawings here. This one's kind of interesting actually. It says, I have no face. That's a little ominous. I love it though. It's kind of, it's like one of those things that's like really cute and also you could interpret it as a little ominous. I love it. Finally, gotta break the fourth wall here, but we've got this adorable little drawing. Look at this. There's so much color and we've got this. It says flames LPS, not LPS, slime chihuahua. 
interesting. We've got the same cat with no face. We've got a little character going on here. And then right here it says this is my mascot Zoe. So I think in the letter she said that her channel is going to be LPS Zoe. And it says awesome LPS. I couldn't agree more. Thank you so much Naomi for sending in mail and I'm so sorry for the delay. But hopefully you're still out there watching LPS tube somewhere in the world. Next up we have this letter from Alexa in California and very interesting um, don't do this but this letter doesn't have a stamp there's no stamp to be found here I have no idea how it was sent to me but please make sure if you're sending in a letter make sure to stamp it Ooh. So this letter is a little interesting. We got some lead from the markers in the back, but I'm gonna try my best to read this by the way. Look at how cute these drawings are. Hi, my name is Alexa. I'm a big fan. When I first watched your videos, I was shocked. I love them and I make them myself. By the way, Alexa also sent us an adorable little necklace right here. Look at this. I'm really strutting to town over here. Thank you so much, Alexa, for sending in your letter. I have no idea how it got to me, but I'm so glad it did. Next up, we have this letter. It comes from Embry, who lives in Oregon. And I love, oh, I love this cute little drawing of me and your mascot, so cute. Dear CCR Television, I am so happy to finally send a letter to you. Me and my friend Sophia watch your videos and me and Sophia laugh so hard at your videos. I have something for you below. Merry Christmas from Embry. I've got a million dollar question over here, but before I show you that, oh my goodness, I am in love with your art style. This is so cute. Oh my goodness, Cecilia in a little Christmas hat. I know it's a little late, but oh my goodness, I'm so glad I'm opening it out. We have a cute little picture of, I think, Gustav with his little penguin. Gustav was definitely a fan mail favorite last time the box was open, and you are free to send him mail as well. I believe this is the security guard, and we also have a funny little picture of Mr. Big Head. I always love your guys' interpretations of him. I was walking home when my car broke down, so I went to the gas station to reinflate my bike tires. Well, gosh darn, that makes no sense! And now for the million dollar question. If you're going down a river at two miles per hour and your canoe loses a wheel, how much pancake mix would you need to re-shingle your roof? I would say about 12 and a half. Embry also sent some adorable little miniatures. She sent in these cute little cookies and also some LPS teensies. We got this one, this little bunny, and a little cow. I don't think I have this one. Thank you so much for the letter, the cookies, and the new LPS Embry. This is so, so kind of you. Here's the final letter before we move on to the package. This comes from Faith in California. It got a little torn over here when I first picked it up, so hopefully it's not that big of a deal. Look at this! Faith sent in an adorable handmade card with this amazing picture of Cecilia on it. It says, please put this in your fan art cabinet and I absolutely will. Tell your mom she is so cool. Ma. What? Said, tell your mom she's so cool. You're so cool. Yes! Hi, my name is Faith. I love your videos. I don't have a YouTube channel, but I still love making videos with my camera. I have a sister, her name is Temperance. Ooh, that's a nice name. Anyways, here are some questions for you. What is your favorite non-main five pet? Absolutely chinchillas. I want to collect every chinchilla there is one day. Do you like bananas? They're not my favorite fruit, but I definitely enjoy the energy of a, of a good banana in the morning every so often. Could have just said yes. What is your cat's name? So we have a lot of cats at home, but the main three who live in our house are Davy, Maisie, and Panda. Question number four, do you have any other pets? Yes, I do. I have an adorable little Pomeranian named Foxy. And at the very end, it says, I love you. Oh, this is so cute. And it says, you are so cool. You guys are so sweet. As a bonus, Faith also sent in this adorable little Pokemon card. This is Tyranitar for any of my Pokemon fans out there. And I used to collect Pokemon cards as a kid, so I'm so excited to be adding this one to the collection as well. Thank you so much for sending in mail, Faith. Your card is super, super cute. We have one more piece of fan mail for this episode. I have a little bit more, but I'm gonna save it for next time. This is a package from Lauren from Wisconsin. I love the text over here. It says, you cool, LPS, heck yes. 
All right, we've got some blind bags here, but I'm gonna save those for later. First thing I noticed though when I opened this was this adorable little picture. It says you, well she means me. But oh my goodness, this is so cute and I'm so excited to put this one up on the cabinet. It is the perfect size. We've also got a blank envelope, so I wonder if anything could be in here. Oh, we got a little message over here. Hi, my name is L.A.J. Please open on camera. My YouTube name is LPS Magic. I hope you enjoy everything I sent. Short and sweet, I am so excited to open up your little package. So it looks like I was sent some LPS, so I'm gonna open this one first. So the first gift from Lauren is this adorable Cocker Spaniel. She painted the paws pink, which I actually really like that idea. If I ever end up using my fake LPS in a video, I think this might actually be a really cute idea to do with them. And now for the second and final blind bag of the day. <gasps> oh my good, oh my goodness, this is so cute! I cannot get enough of this. We've got this adorable short hair cat. I believe she's a calico. And oh my goodness, we've got this adorable detail. The sweater, you guys, the sweater. I love this so much and I definitely need to find a way to use her in a video because she is so, so pretty. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the amazing package, Lauren, and thank you to everybody who sent in fan mail. Here is the fan mail map. We've got some dots around the US already. Let me know if you guys like this idea. I'm just going off of a general idea of where the person is, so I'm not trying to show anyone's address or house. It's just for entertainment purposes only. All right, Doodle Cecilia is going to go now. All the details will be in the description if you want to send in fan mail. And I look forward to the next fan mail episode two weeks from now. Hope you guys have a great day. Uh, more video tomorrow. Hope you guys uh, have a great day. Bye everyone!